our first feature is the built-in picture-in-picture viewing mode. Don't get interrupted by pesky Slack messages while watching videos at work. Just pip it. Click the icon on your content that looks like a box turning into a smaller box. And just like that, wha-bam! See? You got yourself a picture-in-picture. Some browsers are now being proactive about banning cookies by default. In Firefox, we have a feature called Total Cookie Protection, which does a lot of the work for you. If you use Firefox, we've got an awesome browser extension called Multi-Account Containers, which takes all those cookies and puts them into separate virtual cookie jars. It helps keep your work accounts and personal accounts separate. And whenever you're done with one of those containers, just hit delete. Ta-da! Those trackers are now gone. When's the last time you printed out a web page? If you didn't answer never, then you probably don't know your computer has a built-in screenshot function. But what do you do about those never-ending pages? Check out Firefox's screenshot feature. Not only can you define your own screenshot sizes, like the ones you're used to, but you can also grab the entire page in a single image. It's been waiting for you this whole time. Just a right click away. If you were to open a Facebook tab right now, how many trackers would you find scooping your data like ice cream from your profile? If only there was some way to know. But that's just it. There is a way, and of course, it's built right into Firefox. Open your browsers and browse to one of your favorite sites. If you take a look just to the left of your URL bar, you'll notice a shield. Click that shield and you'll find the protections dashboard. Sort of like this. This dashboard holds very important information about how Firefox has automatically defended you from three major privacy threats. Cookies. Fingerprints. Are those actual fingers? And trackers. This automatic blocking happens whether you've opened the dashboard or not. But now you can see when your data is being tracked while you browse, so you can start making educated choices about your browsing habits. Having complex passwords and different ones for different logins is a good thing. Just utilize some tools to help you keep track. The most comprehensive method is Password Manager. Some browsers have one built in, like Firefox. In fact, it can even suggest a password for you, so you don't have to think of one. And if you go this route, you can even use Firefox Monitor. That'll alert you if your password shows up on the dark web. Firefox actually has an eyedropper tool built in, so you can get those colors right every time. Step one, hit the hamburger menu. Step two, inside the hamburger menu, go to more tools and hit the eyedropper, and then just pick your color. If you followed along with me, then comment below what color my blazer is. You're lounging on your daybed, browsing recipes on your phone to send to your personal chef for dinner tonight. Very relatable, I know. You found 17 mouth-watering recipes and want your chef to make them all. Why should you choose one? That's where Pocket steps in. It's a save button for the internet. Using the Pocket mobile app, you can stash those recipes directly into your Pocket. Now over on your desktop, just hit the Pocket button, select View My List, and there you'll find all your saved articles. The features don't stop there. Pocket also has a discovery page, and while it is curated partly by an algorithm, it is done so in conjunction with real human eyes and hands. Let's examine a new scenario. You're taking an online class with an extremely compelling professor. You prefer to watch the course on your iPad, but you couldn't be bothered to copy that link and send it to yourself. Don't send it, sync it. Tab Sync makes your active desktop tabs accessible on your mobile devices and vice versa. Sounds like you need another visual example. Take this muffin, for instance. As you can see, this muffin is muffin number one. We see that it's 6 p.m. and we gotta go home. But to leave our desk will mean we gotta smash this muffin. Boom shakalaka! Lucky for us, Tab Sync has taken all the contents of muffin one and allowed us to once again enjoy the presence of muffin number one in our pocket. Ta-da! Sometimes entering your contact info online is totally unavoidable. 
Maybe there's a 25% discount if you cough up that email. And yeah, at the time it was totally worth it for a novelty shower head that looks like a duck from a sketchy Instagram store. But two weeks later, my spam box is jam packed with all sorts of novelty bathroom accessories. Well, if you learn your lesson like me, let's avoid those sketchy shopping spam traps using Firefox Relay. This badass service will create a burner email address for you called an email mass that you can use instead of your real email address. Oh, and just when you thought it wasn't cool enough, Firefox Relay does phone numbers too. You can create a burner number just like the email service and both calls and texts sent to the burner will forward to your number. Plus, if you're just waiting for that two-factor code to come in, you can enable or disable the number whenever you want. Oh, shucka ducky quack quack. VR headsets are just a tool used to access Metaverse platforms, and there are many options to choose from when it comes to those platforms. Be warned, these platforms come with the same data risk as any other social media. By offering your personal information, you open yourself up to having it sold to advertisers. Mozilla Hubs is a bustling new Metaverse platform that aims to be a path into the Metaverse. Plus, you don't even need a VR headset, just a browser. With a growing community, live events, and tons of social features, Hubs is an excellent way to start your Metaverse journey. Now normally for a resurrection, you would need two tablespoons of salt. Blessed by a priest. For a salt bay. Two ounces of holy water. And a young priest and an old priest. However, both priests were unavailable today, so instead we'll be using Firefox's built-in tab resurrection feature. If you've accidentally closed your Firefox window and need to get back to what you were doing quickly, you can push the restore session button in the history settings to bring the session back from the dead. You can even tell Firefox to do this every time you open the application, so you never have to remember all your go-to URLs ever again. Oh yeah, and no salt bait necessary. That concludes Firefox 102. Wish to know more? Drop your questions in the comments or find us on Twitter and Instagram at Firefox. As always, I'm your girl Shanae and I hope to see you on the flip side.